What's up, Jennifer? Um, doing a review on the e Sigator, uh, e Sigator. Um, e Sigator is my, my Texan way of saying it. Uh, silver, it's a V2. It is 1600 mAh. Capacity of the tank is 3 milliliters of liquid. The wattage says it goes up to 28 watts, which this information is on the bottom of the of the package. Which 28 watts is quite a lot. Um, when you look at it, 1600. Okay, there is no no voltage uh, or wattage any way you can regulate any of that. It's a battery. It's plain and simple. Um, I kind of like that. You know, it's a great starter. If, if it is that good of a battery, which we're going to check it out, um, that's pretty badass. You know, that'd be a badass starter. Uh, it's about $50, $60 retail. I think that's a great price um, on a starter, on a starter kit. I paid about $100 for two egos and a battery and a charger. Um, and that's about 100 bucks, and that was less than a year and a half ago. So $50, I mean, it's something that you're going to have hopefully for a while. Usually these batteries last around one day for me. Um, that's if I'm on it all day. with two extra atomizers or coils and here's a little tank I'm going to turn it backwards unscrew it and it has another coil and usually kids come with uh, two coils so this came with three coils kind of that impresses me it says 0.5 ohms on the coil it has a little alligator on there. How cute. <laughs> a little guider. And there is airflow. Two decent sized airflow holes in the base of this. Um, plastic. I am not a fan of plastic at all. Glass is usually better, especially if you're a starter and you're starting off on uh, any kind of cinnamon liquid. The cinnamon is going to eat that plastic away in most cases. I just unscrewed the top. It has two little holes you can feel from the top. Um, the, the base does come out, or the tip does come out to where you can change the tip to something else. Got the charger and the directions. This is an old school charger. You screw it in, it'll turn red. When the battery is charged, it will turn green. Make sure you plug it into the USB first. These usually take, I think, around, I mean, I'm not sure about this one in particular. These usually take around uh, three to six hours to charge. So we'll see tonight. Correctly, uh, can go up to 20 watts. It should be able to to power my Atlantis Aspire, um, which I'm gonna check that that out later. Right now, though, I'm gonna fill it with Skydive 50 50 milligram. 50 50 milligram. <laughs> 50 50 EG EG. Sorry, it's been a long day. This is the first time using this. I haven't used it yet. And I'll screw it in. Make sure my air holes are open. So this is sub ohming tank. A couple of these have come out, out recently. And the battery just it just trips me out. This is a normal, like a normal Ego style battery. It's five clicks on. 
five clicks off. You screw this on. And let me let this soak into the wick a little bit uh, before I take a drag of it. I did bust out a little MT3 with a 600, 650 mAh battery. Um, just going to show you the clouds on all these different setups I have and then I'm going to bust out this sucker. And then I'm going to put that battery on the Aspire lens. And I love tanks. I'm a cloud chaser and I do love tanks. Okay, there's how much vape you get on that. I've got my T3D on an 1100 mAh. A little bit more. These have tiny little little holes for airflow um, that I used to drill out a lot. They're a decent cloud out of it. I've got my spire not loose on my binge spinner too. Gator starter kit, and that's how I'm gonna say it. You see, Gator. Gator is a good word. starting out they don't have to play with all the little buttons nothing's digital you don't have to 
turn anything, do anything. Um, it heats up a little bit, which is expected. I am now going to test this battery on my my Aspire. The end of the Aspire is supposed to be, you know, around 30 watts or up. I normally run mine. Thank you for watching.